What's going on guys? Gomes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we have a brand new update. We have a brand new set 28 headliner and then a little sneak preview into a bit of content we're going to see at the end of the week and uh, maybe surprises. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to find out uh, but you guys are going to find out alongside with me. So before we hop into this one, as always, make sure to leave a like down below if you guys have been enjoying the video. Subscribe if you're new, getting really close to 40,000 pack opening later tonight and a couple crazy videos lined up in the near vicinity so make sure and get ready for those with that being said let's go ahead and deep dive into the content the headliner player is going to be 96 overall Michael Brantley okay uh not who I expected it to be that's three offensive players in a row that is uh Kind of weird and definitely throws off track any prediction. Uh, 115, 102 contact, 72, 62 power, 109 vision, 75 fielding, 79 arms, 75 speed, 85 stealing. Uh, so this is, you know, Michael Bradley card. You know, it's not really going to surprise you. It's not going to... Um, just jump out at you like the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park. Uh, 115, 102 contact is great. Really good vision. The power with the speed is good enough. Usually Brantley cards, the main reason they're not fantastic is despite him having a good swing he usually doesn't have enough speed to follow suit 75 is definitely going to be good enough in left field is probably where i would play him he's going to have a silver shield no matter where you play him in the outfield uh but he doesn't have uh you know oodles and boodles of speed neither does he have oodles and boodles of arm strength he's not jacoby ellsbury weak but uh you know it's not exactly something that he would put on his I, uh, imdb or his linkedin uh, so Michael Brantley, good card, of course, has a great swing as always. Uh, still 7,500 stubs on the headliner pack. Eventually, that is going to diminish, uh, um, diminish unto 5,000, but that is not quite yet. I don't believe there's any other content that did get revealed today. Did they update the schedule? Uh, they did update the new quote with the Lano to Shields Jr. If you guys want to check that out right there, um, but they still don't have the schedule here. I'm not sure if they have it on the show nation or not, but obviously. Obviously, you know, uh, I completely agree and stand with uh, their decision to do that right there. I think it is a really good thing that they are doing. Uh, so that's what we have there. Not a, you know, huge content update. I am going to not do a whole bunch of packs because we just did open a good amount. I'll do a 10 bundle and two headliner packs and we'll see uh, what goes from there because headliners have not been great. They have been really really bad i opened all five of the pablo ones and uh i did pull a diamond the first time i guess it was strasburg so uh that's cool but we still did not make profit uh headliner packs i i really don't have much else to say i was trying to think of something despairingly uh a despairing remark to say about headliner packs but i've used them all up i'm gonna have to think of new material to talk about the headliner packs because uh, they they really deserve every hatred going towards them uh, But the outline for the rest of the week the content I think it is only gonna be majorly the Father's Day program that is gonna be on Friday and then also a new headliner pack I don't think we're gonna see anything else uh, Of course, I will update you guys and let you know in a video if that does change uh, But as far as we know that is what we are going to expect Oh, that's so oh, good God. Oh, that's big. Oh, God, I need that. Can I get a little pick-me-up, please? Please. Second baseman? Oh. It's Frodo. It's Harry Foot Frodo Altuve. Frodo with the buzzer. Okay, that's not really a diamond, but I'll take it. It's going to help make back some of the cost. And a gold card. Ozzy Albee is pretty solid. Can we continue on to the set 28 headliners, though? No. Can we continue on the set 28 headliners, though? No. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I'll be honest. We can definitely open more packs, but I don't really feel like it. It's not going to be a huge, long update. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys on the screen right now. Uh, Atrin tweeted out uh, 110 power of a card that he is going to be revealing on his YouTube channel, so make sure and check that out tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what time. I think it says in the tweet. I'm not sure, though, but make sure and follow him over on his uh, YouTube. He's going to be revealing a card 110 power against righties, and... Uh, 
I would assume this would have to be with the Father's Day program. Again, I'll flash the schedule on screen right here. Uh, that's the only new content coming, and it wouldn't make sense to reveal uh, headliner, or especially, I don't think it's going to be four offensive players in a row. Uh, I know I said that the last two times. I don't think it's going to be two in a row. For sure, it can't be three in a row. What would make me think it could be four in a row? So it's most likely going to be Father's Day program, which if you guys remember in the news update yesterday, I talked about they're having mission or rather there's going to be missions, moments, and a conquest map, and you're going to earn exclusive rewards, which are likely going to be diamond players. Let me know some predictions you guys think of some fathers or I guess it could be sons as well that you guys would like to see in the father's day program i'm not really sure any dads i think dante bichette could have 110 power against righties i don't think vladimir guerrero could have that that really wouldn't make any sense uh I don't know. I'm not sure how good of a card they're going to drop on us is the only thing. Uh, like I said, let me know if you guys have any predictions. It's obviously not going to be King Griffey Sr. for that card. Uh, some people have said Prince Fielder. Uh, that's like the most popular guess on Twitter, which of course he's... Uh, you know, doesn't have a son in baseball, but his dad, Cecil Fielder, of course, had Prince Fielder, which uh, that would be two new legends that they would be adding into the game. I guess they could only do a son, but that wouldn't make... Uh, an overabundance of sense to honor Father's Day with a guy who uh, does not have a you know son in the MOB. So it could be the case, but I don't think it is. Uh, but yeah, Vladimir Guerrero is possible. Uh, I'm not sure. Obviously, this card does. Did he always have better splits against righties? I don't remember his signature teams. 99 from last year or is he mortal? Uh, it could be Vlad. It's definitely not going to be Ken Griffey Senior. Uh, you know, even Ken Griffey Junior. 110 power against righties is like a 99 version of him. So uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Like I said, that's just a bit of a sneak preview. Make sure and check out Adrian's channel tomorrow where he is gonna be having the reveal. And again, I would surmise this is going to be part of the Father's Day program that is going to be dropping on Friday uh, the 19th. So, quick little news update. Not much to talk about. New Michael Brantley. Let me know if you guys plan on picking him up. Make sure and check out the pack opening later. And I should be live on Twitch uh, approximately 7 Eastern time. So, make sure and check that out. The Grind to World Series is going to start tonight. So, if you all enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. There comes out. Yeet.